Hello. Okay, so now is a very special garden time. Uh, it is uh, end of um, April, and um, I should have taken a video earlier because uh, it could have gone from like uh, uh, cold of winter and nothing growing to the explosion of spring. Um, so you you miss that, but you're 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 seeing the, expo the explosion of spring like in action right now. So I'm going to show you some things. So this is uh, my um, uh, my salad bed. I've got these Asian greens going on here, and uh, this is the same bed that I had grown cold in last year. Uh, now we switched directions. Um, you can only do green coal like once every four years, five years, something like that, in the same place. So I've got salad happening there now. Over here is uh, um, this is a potato bed. I put some potatoes in here last week. Um, this is what we got. I believe this is a apple tree. The, the tulips are finishing up right now. So my stuff is uh, the potato bed right here. Which is just underway. And then, going down the line, I've got the salad. Starting in here. Here's a new addition. My uh, meditation spot. I got, it's got two parts. One is my meditation seat. And then above it is my meditation hut. And here's my other spot. I've got... Um, this is to be done in about uh, four weeks or so less. Um, it's, it's kind of sitting and waiting now. Um, I think I'm going to put beans in there, among other things. Uh, and then here, quite important, is the strawberries. They're really coming in now. I've got some uh, little flowers there. This means in a, in a bit we're going to have some strawberries coming through here. And then here we've got onions. And what else here? Oh, here we've got a, this is a, all kinds of herbs in there on this side. This is like a kind of like a summer room. Or, you know, I guess it's a, called a winter room. But Marga and Reimer use it in the mainly in the fall and spring. If we come this way, here we've got some of Marga's beds. Like she's got the major strawberry beds happening here. Two of them. We get tons of strawberries. Here's, an, here's another couple of her beds. I, I don't know what's in this one. Um, here's her second strawberry bed. And these are some of our productive trees. These are both cherry. This, I don't know what it is. I can't remember. These are Hollander berries. They're amazing. They're absolutely delicious. Make all kinds of stuff with that. And uh, right over here.
is a really beautiful apple tree. One of these, I believe, is pear. Can't remember which one. Over here are some other berries. This tree, I can't remember what type it is again. I'm not a great gardener. And these are raspberries. More beds, Margaret's places. So that's a very quick tour in the spring. Back to the new bird bath. More is coming. I think they think I'm kind of cute because I like to come over here and just sit. Oh, we got to see this. Oh, you missed it maybe? It's a seabird. There it is. It's uh, called a raya, I think. It comes by often. Here's my spot. I just look at beings. This is what I see. And that's the train you hear in the distance. Enjoy your spring. So you're probably wondering, you know, what's it's actually, what is it actually like, um, like in uh, Elm's Horn on a Saturday morning? You know, what are people doing? And so I will show you at least something here. So um, what's going on is there's a river that is flowing in the middle of town. And Anka is um, in a shop. I think she's looking at books. So um, I'm out among the people, surreptitiously filming, um, trying to not to bother anybody with my little camera. And if you head this way, you come to um, kind of the, the center of Elm's Horn, which is really the what's called the Buttermarkt. I come to the Buttermark um, with Marga often. She kind of buys all her vegetables here. They're open on Wednesdays and uh, Saturdays. Today's a big day. Fresh vegetables and meats, etc., etc. Here's our harbor area. They're going to rebuild the downtown area here and apparently they're gonna open this up and um, make it bigger oh here we go mr. ducky is 
very excited about getting back in the water. I gotta go find Anka now. Mr. Ducky is heading upstream. He's a powerful swimmer. I've seen this water get all the way up past past this little art thing here, this like uh, I don't know what to call it, like this bar with these fishies. Almost up to the top. And every 50 years or so, it floods. But this is what it is like normally. What's for me to decide is whether I should have another cup of coffee. My answer is yes. The question is, where do I get that cup of coffee? That's where decision making comes in. And anyone who knows me knows that that's difficult for me. Better for things that just happen to me rather than me having to make a decision out of anything. Right underneath the church is what I feel is a really nice little bakery. Bakerfai Cafe, Junga. <coughs> There's another place down the street that we like to go as well. Wow, here's a homeless guy. That is rare. side. Time to go. I've got to find Anka. Hello again. I thought I'd surreptitiously attempt to show you um, a place we'd like to go for coffee. But again, these torches don't like to be seen on video, so I'm going to kind of keep it to myself. Somebody's got some wacky music going on. Dude's playing a little bit of limp sax out in front of a police station or something. Here's a Chinese place that I've not come to yet, but I mean, how could you not want to go to a place called China Land Imbus? It's like the China land, except without the D. I don't know, it's kind of makes it even hipper in my mind. So this is a place we like to come because it's pretty mellow. But I'm going to head in now. So I've got to sit here and wait for Anka. And meanwhile, um, despite the fact that I haven't had really anything to eat yet, and I've already got a terrific buzz going on, um, I'm going to try
try to work on that while I try to improve my German language by reading this. My German language sucks, and the more I don't practice it, the worse it gets. But I'm going to keep going here. I need to be honest, it is an embarrassment. It really is, but what can I say? I'm, I'm old, see? <laughs> oh, it's time to read something. Let me put my reading glasses on then. <laughs> 